today we're going to be locking some live drums to the grid using Logic Pro. So I've got an 8 track set up I've recorded in my studio. Usual kick, snare, overhead right, overhead left, floor tom, rack tom, sub kick and a room mic. So let's have a listen. Sound pretty tight, let's check them with a click. I mean they're pretty tight, but they could always be slightly tighter. So today I'm going to show you how to lock them in solidly with the grid on Logic Pro. Some people disagree with doing this, but it's a good skill to have just in case you ever need it. You know, everyone's like, oh man, you kill the drummer's soul when you do that, you know. And I used to say that, but, you know, as you go on to work with artists and produce them and produce some music for TV, which I also do, yeah, some people want things perfect, you know what I mean? So I'll show you the process of locking these drums to the grid. Firstly, you want to select all your drums and bring up the mixer. And then here where it says group, you want to click here, new group. And when it says name, you want to call them drums. And the most two important boxes you need to have clicked are editing and quantize locked. If you don't have those two, you'll just get in a right old model. Basically it means when you, for example, you move the kick drum, then all the other drums will move along with it. If you don't have them on, you'll just get so confused and just give up. So all these ones are, you can either have the volume, at the, control the volume at the same time and all these things, but for what we're doing, you don't need to do any of that. So uncheck all those boxes. Just double check you've got both of those, all right? So now you've got all your drums in a group. Get rid of the mixer. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna use flex time to snap them to the grid. This is the show flex button, so press that on. And then, because we put all our drums in a group, you get this cue on every track. This is what we're going to quantize to. It tells Logic which ones you want to choose to be the main ones that it's going to quantize to. So it's always a good idea to uncheck all of the other ones apart from the kick and the snare, because the kick and the snare usually have the least hits and are on the on the the main sort of on the money for the groove, you know. Say example, look, if you use the room mic, it would try to it would be trying to quantize all these and it would just go crazy. But when you look at the kick and the snare, that you just got a few hits. So logic it helps logic out basically if you use your kick and your snare. So you leave the cue on the kick and the snare, turn the rest off. So next stage you want to analyze all your transients. So because they're in a group, you just have to turn on one of them and then Logic will analyze every single track. There you go, look, it's analyzed every single transient it's found. And usually it does, it does a really good job getting them right. But again, you know, it's usually, there's always something you can catch it out on. So now you've, you've found all your transients now, or Logic has, and it's chosen slicing mode because that's the best for drums. It's the best algorithm for quantizing drums. So now we want to go up to our inspector window, which is up here. And it says region. Click on this little arrow and then it brings up all these options. You want to choose 16th notes for these ones. Because the drum groove's got 16th notes in it. And now it should be locked to the grid. So you can even go in and check, look, all these snare hits are on the two and the four. So basically when you do this, you have to be careful that Logic doesn't 
make a mistake, so you have to go through and listen to it. And then if it does, for example, if it had put this snare drum, so this is the two, we want the snare drum there, but if it had put it here, you just have to go through and drag the transient to the, the marker. And as you can see, all the other, because we put them in a group earlier, all the other drums just jump with it. So I think it's done a pretty good job on these four bars. Let's move it along four bars, see if it's done just as well on the next. I'm just trying to find a place where it's messed it up so I can show you how to fix it. No, I mean, it's all good. But let me just remind you, if you do need to move a marker or something, just grab it. Just hover over it until you get all these lines. And then just itchy grab it. And all the rest will follow. So that's the way you want to just double check they're all on the grid. These little lines up here. If you don't know how to zoom in like that, hold down command, press the down arrow. And if you want to go back, press the up arrow. It's a good, good little trick for this kind of thing. Yeah, so that's the basis of locking a drum track to the grid. The tighter your drummer, the easier your job will be. But yeah, like I say, it's a good skill to have and not everybody likes to mess around with a drummer's feel. But just in case it's too badly out of time or somebody wants you to lock it to the grid, that'll give you a good start. Cool. Hope you've learned something about quantizing drums. I'll play you out with a few bars. Catch you next time.